you. I don't know what's wrong with Mulder. I think he's in some kind of a narco-somnambulistic state. Maybe if we can lure him into the isolation chamber, I, I can contain him until I can figure out how to treat him. Okay. How are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, we need to locate the other key that Mulder was looking for. Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. It looks to me like, like the, uh, the door is, is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously, like launching a nuclear missile. Now, there's a key guard in the corner of the room. Maybe if, if I distract him, you can come up behind him and knock him out. Then we can use the key to get Mulder into that chamber. But first, we have to get the isolation chamber powered up. Now, the, the door to the security area locked itself behind me, so we have to get that opened up first. Let's hope this works. Any particular direction you'd like to claim?
Agent Wilmore, I know you're upset by what's transpired, but we're all affected when one of our own goes bad. I never saw it coming. Mark was my friend. I should have been more attentive, perhaps, but none of us are at fault. Except Agent Cook himself. Hello. Come in, please. I just wanted to say goodbye. I spoke to Detective Astridorian. Apparently, they searched Cook's apartment and found my laptop, fortunately. But uh, it seems as though Cook staged the break-in here in order to make it look as if he'd been attacked. Well, it seems that Agents Mulder and Scully have been uh, talking to Assistant Director Skinner. Yes, apparently your work has received quite a bit of attention at the Bureau. You have quite a fan in Assistant Director Skinner. Although I must admit some of what I've heard sounds a bit fantastic, to put it mildly. Oh, yes, sir. I agree. I'd have to plead the fifth on that. Anyway, I've got a plane to catch, but Agent Mulder wanted me to tell you that his foot has woken up. That's a relief. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. You're looking a little ragged around the edges. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll see you here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And oh, I expect your report on this matter to show up when you do. Yes, sir. Oh, Detective Astadorian also mentioned she had some paperwork for you to sign. She said she'd drop it by your place, although I told her she could send it here. She seemed uh, adamant about handing it off to you directly. Yes, sir. Agent Wilmore. I guess I know what you want. Hold on a second, I'll go get it. I think not. You'd better keep it. You're gonna need it again. Soon.